Um, that's tough. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lucy Lee, and I'm a rookie on the LPJ this year. Favorite club to hit? It's either my driver, or my putter, or my 61 degree wedge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Driving range or putting green? Recently, I've been spending more time on the putting green. I love, I do love putting, but I also love hitting drivers. So it's kind of a mix up. I know, I'm so indecisive. Favorite swing on the LPJ Tour? I want to say it myself, but I also kind of, I love my swing and also kind of hate my swing at the same time, so I'm not sure. What about on the PGA Tour? Rory's got a great swing. I love watching Morikawa play. They're both solid. Proudest moment on the golf course is? Obviously, qualifying for the US Open, that's a hard one to beat. I like won my qualifier by like seven shots, and that was a really crazy day. Also, winning my first uh, professional tour last year, I like trained a 50 footer for Eagle in the playoff. That was really cool. Tournament you're most looking forward to playing? The US Open at Pebble, that'll be really awesome. But other than that, Canadian Open. Favorite pizza topping? Solid is always like a pepperoni or salami. Like, I love a good salami. But I, something kind of underrated is like banana peppers or pepperonis. They're really good on pizza. If there was an LPGA talent show tomorrow, what would you perform? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like speed reading. <laughs> I'm pretty good at reading fast. I'm not like crazy, but like pretty good. I kind of started because my brother and my cousin played. Um, they just play for fun, but I always love tagging along with my brother and um, kind of got started that way. How old were you? I was seven. Were you a natural? Uh, yeah, I actually kind of was. That's part of the reason why I liked it so much, because I was good at it. And I also, a lot of what drives me for you know, practice is just the ability to always get better. Something in golf is that there's so many things to work on and so many things you can be better at. And I just love, um, love that aspect of it. What do you think of those moments when you played at the, the Open at such an early age and people just kind of being like, your adorable Lucy. It has been a while, like almost 10 years now. Um, it's really crazy to think about how long it is. And honestly, when I think back to those moments, I'm, I feel like the moment was so much, it's so much bigger now looking back at it. At the mo In the moment, I was so young, I kind of just didn't think too much of it. But looking back at it, it really was a really incredible moment. Um, and I'm very grateful for it, obviously. You know, I've had a lot of opportunities. You did play in the LPJ performance a lot. Um, how do you think that will help you with transition to this year? I think that there's there can be a pretty big transition from the Epson to the LPJ. So getting those starts in um, and having some good finishes is definitely a huge confidence booster. And also just getting me more comfortable into how the LPGA is run and different things and stuff like that. So definitely a huge confidence and comfort booster. Goal this year? Well, my goal is to, you know, play as well as I can and stick to my process but you know number one thing I want to be able to do is play in the US Open and then after that a little bit loftier but uh, being on the Solheim Cup team would be really awesome. I grew up playing tons of team events and when I look back at my junior and amateur career you know obviously I love the wins and all that stuff but those are the memories that I still cherish. Golf is such an individual sport which is I, I, I like that but those moments where you get to be on a team and be part of something bigger than yourself is just really, really special. Message to yourself five years ago or five years later? Probably five years ago when I was like 15. At that time I had, I was a little too hard on myself. I had too many expectations and I think that it would have been good to know just that, you know, it doesn't, like everyone has a different path and you don't have to like push yourself. At that point I thought I should have been winning on the LPG and it's kind of funny to look back on it now. A big learning experience for me, you know, getting on the Epson, like the second year I kind of struggled with having those expectations, but last year just being able to let go of those and kind of play my game and trust my game, definitely um, would tell myself to just take it easy. <laughs> Good luck,